At a village clinic in Democratic Republic of Congo, six-year-old Angelica Lifafu is covered in hundreds of painful boils. Her uncle, 12-year-old Lisungi Lifafu's eyes are swollen shut, unable to tolerate the sunlight. They have monkeypox, a disease first detected in Congo 50 years ago. Cases have spiked in Western Central Africa since 2019, but the disease received little attention until it spread worldwide this year. Litumbe Lifafu is Lusungi's father and Angelica's grandfather. Another of his sons fell ill and died in August. I haven't worked in a month since the death of my son. And then the illness worsened with these two children. I can't think of anything else at the moment, not even of eating. Global health bodies have counted far fewer monkeypox cases in Africa than in Europe and the United States during the current outbreak. But that low account obscures a bigger African outbreak and death toll than official statistics suggest. During a six-day visit to the remote region of Tsopo, Reuters journalists found around 20 monkeypox patients, including two who had died, whose cases were not recorded until reporters visited. More than a dozen health workers said a shortage of testing facilities and poor transport links make tracing the virus nearly impossible. That situation is exacerbated by a shortage of vaccines, stocks of which were snapped up by the West when the virus arrived at its shores. Both Angelica and Lusungi do not have access to vaccines or antiviral drugs. In Yalolia, where the children are being cared for, local health official Teo Pistamboloko questions why Europe, with fewer deaths and slower infection rates, would be at the front of the queue for immunization. Our concern is that if there is a vaccine, we should be the ones getting it. If there is a treatment, a protocol, it is us who should receive it. Because we are on the front lines, we are the first responders to this disease. They can't just keep it there. In the West, only 10 people have died of monkeypox this year. Figures from the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention show. In Africa, according to Africa CDC data, it's more than 130. Almost all are in Congo. The Africa CDC has acknowledged that its data does not capture the full extent of the continent's outbreak. Countries like Congo lack the funds to secure vaccines and rely on the World Health Organization and its partners. But so far, they have been unsuccessful, in part because of the global shortage. Congo's health minister said the country was in talks with the WHO to buy vaccines, but no formal request had been made. For Angelica and Lisungi, the future is uncertain. Without treatment, they will have to wait for the illness to run its course. They may recover, but also risk blindness or even death.